Hello guys, Lieutenant Happiness here, and surrounding all the love of Pokemon lately, because of Pokemon Go, I will be doing my top 5 Pokemon. And the reason I want to do this is because I've played Pokemon since I was a y really young kid, and I've always just had this devoted love for Pokemon, ever since I've played Pokemon ever. First time was like, my brothers got me into it, and then we just would like, We'd talk to each other about Pokemon, we'd ha get Pokemon cards, I've just always loved Pokemon, and now, since Pokemon Go's come out and everybody pretty much has that game, I can talk about Pokemon without sounding like a total doof, like a total gook, like a total goofball. What is a gook? Don't even ask me what a gook is, I don't know what that means, oh my gosh. But anyway, let's get into this video on my top 5 Pokemon of all time. It, not including the Pokemon X and Y because I've not played that game yet. I am trying to get that game soon, so just bear with me. No Pokemon X and Y. If you are a big Pokemon X and Y fan, just click off this video now. My number five favorite Pokemon is usually everybody's favorite Pokemon, but my number five because I have a few more Pokemon that I've I love more than Pikachu. Oddly enough, I know Pikachu is the most adorable Pokemon. I have to agree with that, but uh, she still she, she or he. They have different genders, are not quite my most favorite Pokemon. I mean, they're really strong, they got electric powers, they're fast, they got good defense, they got good attack and everything. Their weakness is ground because they're electric, they can evolve, they have a cool evolved form. Pikachus are everything you ask for in a Pokemon. But there's a few more that I love more than Pikachu, and Pikachu is the Pokemon known best because of the show and just because... Of, that's like the face of Pokemon pretty much is a Pikachu when you think of Pokemon you think of mostly Pikachu So it had to be my, um, on my list because come on. It's a Pikachu without Pikachu This game would not this game would not be as cute because Pikachu is just adorable. I love Pikachu And at number four for my top five Pokemon we got Sandile I had to include at least one Pokemon from the newer generations of Pokemon. All my other ones are from like the first Pokemon games because those are the games that I liked the most. But that Pokemon would be Sandile because come on, he's a cute little crocodile guy who's made out of sand. I mean, I have a thing for cute Pokemon and this guy is definitely up on the on the list of the cutest Pokemon. If you guys want, I could do a top five list of my favorite cutest Pokemon. If you guys really enjoyed this video, I will do another part if you really want me to. That might be a weird video, though. I don't know. But it's he's a desert crocodile. He's a little guy. He's only like 33 pounds, it says. And he's he's like two inches. It's just, he's just so cute. It's like, he's, I think he might even be a little cuter than Pikachu. That's why I have him at number four. Sandile is just, I've always, I always have loved this guy. Ever since I played the game he was in, I caught him and I raised him up to this red one right here. And that red one helped me beat the ma main people like the master the champions in Pokemon like the last people you verse for the ultimate gym or whatever that Pokemon helped me beat them and without that Pokemon I might have not been able to beat the game so thank you Sandile and thank you your evolved forms but I could have put your evolved form in this list but you're just too cute to not put in this list they, they're, they're probably number six but you're just so cute I, could, I couldn't help putting him on this list. Number three on my list of my top five favorite Pokemon is Fanfy, the cute little elephant Pokemon. You guys don't know this about me yet, but I am a big elephant person. If there's one animal that I love more than I love myself, would probably be an elephant. Because when I grow up, well, I am partly grown up, but when I go to college and when I graduate high school and everything, I my plans are actually to be a zookeeper, so then I can go help with the elephants at my local zoo. So, I've always had a love for elephants ever since I first saw one. Because the thing was at my zoo, there was these couple of elephants. One of them was always independent because she was older. But the ele other ele elephant, whenever I came, she would run up to the fence and just like look at me. And like, it always seemed like she'd even been like off in the corner eating. But as soon as I'd show up, it seemed like she'd be really happy and run over and say hi to me. And it just, it like, it made my day every time I went to that zoo. And like, I had bad times at like field trips and stuff at school sometimes. I'd be nervous for a concert we're doing. 
I'd run to the zoo and get and I actually run to the zoo and then when I get there she'd come up and say hi then I'd feel happy and I'd go do whatever I need to do or cheer me up and this is a cute little elephant Pokemon and I had to put him in here because I mean it has the evolved form of that but that's not as cute I have a thing for cute Pokemon you guys already know that though I've already told you guys that if there's a cute Pokemon the, and, and it evolves to a, a cool Pokemon, I'm always going to put the cute Pokemon first. So that was my number three Pokemon. At my number two spot for my favorite Pokemon, my top five favorite Pokemon, we have Golem. I had his unevolved form, Graveler, and I was getting sick of him. And I'm like, how do I evolve him into a Golem so he can actually be strong? Because Golem, look at him. All my other Pokemon on this list have been on there for cuteness. This Pokemon is on here for attack and its defense, because, I mean, come on. The one bad part about it, though, is look at all its weaknesses. It gets everything. It's, it's like weakness to everything, which it's crazy, because it's rock and ground. So it's, it, gets a, it gets hurt quite easily with all these things. But the thing is, its defense helps a lot with these, so it can actually handle them. And he's just, he was hard to get because my brothers had a trading cord. And the only way you can get evolve him is if you trade him between p game systems. So I'd have to trade, I traded it to them. They traded it back and I had a golem. And this golem would win every fight ever for me. And it was just so epic to have. And I have to say thank you golem because you won me so many battles. And it's just amazing how many battles I have won because of this Pokemon. I know I already said that, but this Pokemon's just awesome, okay. And at my number one spot for my top five favorite Pokemon, this is my most favorite Pokemon of all time ever. My number one spot belongs to Nidoking. King. Nidoking King is an awesome Pokemon. You have to evolve him two times to get him here, but look at how strong he is and how fast he is, and he's got quite a bit of everything. And this Pokemon would win me so many fights, and ever since I first played Pokemon at like a age of four, I got my brothers to evolve him to this, and I watched them play it, and I just love this Pokemon, and I just, I just loved it so much, you don't get it, <laughs> like, this Pokemon, I'm like, my brothers would just, I tell them, how do you get Nidoking? King, how do you get Nidoking? King, because I didn't have internet access, so then they'd have to help me get the Nidoran, so then I could evolve it to that, and then I could get a Nidoking. King, and every time I started a new file, I had to get Nidoking King no matter what, otherwise I was not happy, Nidoking. King, was just always my favorite Pokemon and always will be probably. I don't know, I haven't played Pokemon X and Y. I might get that game and find a new favorite Pokemon, but I doubt it with such an epic person, well, Pokemon like Nidoking. So, thank you for watching. Hit, show some support, show this to your friends, show it, put it on your Facebook page, put it on your Twitter, put it on Reddit, put it on whatever. Just help me get the word out about my channel. Do me, give me a shout out, I don't care, I just, I, don't, I only have 9 subscribers, and I feel like I have pretty good content, I feel like I can have a few more subscribers for my content, so, please show some support, and get, get this video spread around, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button, I know I sound like I stutter a lot, I do, I'm a new YouTuber, I'm getting used to this, okay, I ain't, I ain't used to playing games, and talking, and, and doing stuff like, looking at this, and talking, I ain't really gotten used to it yet, so, just show some support, please, and I will work on getting better at YouTube, and thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.